Hi guys, calling back with another vinyl video. Nothing fancy or snazzy in this one, no vapors, which will be for another video. I just have some records to show you and one book. Um, I've been very busy again lately with some issues I will talk about at the end of this video, but for now we're just going to show some records and things, just records. <laughs> uh, first off we got Nielsen Sings Newman. Now I already have pretty much all of Nielsen's records but they're in storage and I did not feel like going over there and digging through my unit so um, I just bought a couple of more. Nielsen Sings Newman this is a good cool record. Most of these that was only a couple bucks so I didn't spend much. And here we have Guar. I don't know if any of you have ever heard of Guar. I don't know what's wrong with this. Um, my uh, computer camera here. See, we kind of or look when I hold a record up, we get nice and colorful. Wow! Look at the colors. You take it away, we almost go black and white. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with that, but that's why I switched to a different camera. Uh, but on this one, I didn't feel like breaking out all the fancy gadgets but anyway here's Guar I don't know if any of you remember these guys I've seen these guys like four times back in the um, 90s when I was going to school and college and they put on a pretty good show and it's quite a spectacle you know you get squirt fake blood all over you all, all over you and other fake bodily fluids well <laughs> at least I hope it was fake <laughs> Anyway, you, you couldn't go to this concert in good clothes. You had to wear on the uh, flyers and things. It would say, do not wear uh, clothes that you don't want ruined. <laughs> so, so you had to go on your old t-shirts or whatever. And um, this is Guar. Um, Scum Dogs of the Universe. And they, they wore these um, crazy costumes in their concerts and the lead singer here um he died here uh, a few a couple years ago from an overdose which is too bad but these guys are still around they got a different singer and a, and a different uh crazy costume but i don't like him as much he does he's he's not this guy anyway but this is a cool record and it has it's like a pop-up record if you check that out it's like a pop-up book. And here's one that uh, my mom had bought me back when I was in grade school. And that's, uh, but this isn't it. This isn't that record. This is Kiss Love Gun. Now, I've seen this off and on, um, like in the dollar bins or other uh, flea markets and things like that uh, but I never would get it because I was looking for one that had the love the actual cardboard uh, pop gun inside and lo and behold I finally found um, this one with the love gun and there's the in this the, the, the thingy and it also had this uh, pamphlet where you could send off for, uh, I think it's a comic book, 40 pages of cool comics, and also some t-shirts and posters and things on the other side. And now the little gun, the love gun, here it is. If you haven't ever seen a love gun, there's the love gun for the love doctor. Oh, that's a, <laughs> what's, that's old, uh, Karsten over there is a love doctor, isn't he? But this isn't the one I remember, unless it's not complete. Um, because I remember one, you held it like this, the one I remember having, and you went, you kind of went like this really fast, and a piece would pop out right here and make a loud popping sound. So I don't know if this is a different version or maybe this is missing something, but it did have a little cardboard and that's a strange reason not to get it earlier than that but I wanted the complete 
thing even though I'm not a giant huge KISS fan like some of folks are. That's fine. And here we have the Stray Cats uh, gonna ball. <laughs> I don't know what the deal is with this camera. Nice and colorful when you hold the record up. It's like magic. Um, hot chocolate here. This has you sexy thing on it. Patty Smith. I never had any of her records, but I have a couple of her records and I've enjoyed them very much. I've never really listened to her music before, but I discovered her within the uh, Facebook record groups. Plus, I bought a uh, couple of her books that she's written and I got interested in her music. And they're both the, the two or two I have are very good records. This is Patty Smith Easter. I highly recommend you guys pick up some Patty Smith. And here we have Tom Waits Big Time. You all know how much of a huge Tom Waits fan I am. Don't look at the receipt. Well, you know. <laughs> Tom Waits Big Time. It's a concert. This one, I, I, I like the cover on this because I like the old um, uh, Pulp Fiction books and things like that. And this reminded me of some of the covers of those. Cold Blood, Thriller, some soul music. And here's the other Patti Smith. I didn't have them together. This is called Wave. They both have some very good music on it. Um, I enjoyed them a lot. Uh, here we have another Alabama Shakes. This one's their debut album, Boys and Girls. I don't know if you can see that very good. It's white. But that is the Alabama Shakes. Another group I recommend you pick up if you haven't already picked some of them up. I've never had this record. I don't know why. Uh, Genesis Invisible Touch. Another good record. And this one, I could not remember if I already had it or not. Because I do have some Sade, but I can't remember if I have this one. Which I probably do. I'm just getting old and senile. <laughs> Marvin Gaye, Dream of a Lifetime. And here's another Nielsen, which I didn't have. And this Nielsen I do not have. I did not have Nielsen Rock and Roll. And this was put out by Pickwick. And it has a bunch of songs, like, they're like 50s cover songs almost. 16 tons. And Do You Believe? She's yours. And it's a very odd record for him to have put out. I guess it's way early in his career. And those are the records. And you all know how much of a big Jack Kerouac fan I am. And I found another book, another paperback at the uh, flea market this time. This is J The Dharma Bums by Jack Kerouac. another very good record let's see I oh, got a record a uh, paperback I don't think hopping afraid out of Los Angeles at high noon one day in late September 1955 I got on a gondola and lay down with my duffel bag under my head and my knees crossed and contemplated the clouds as we rolled north to Santa Barbara it was a local, and I intended to sleep on the beach at Santa Barbara that night and catch either another local to San Luis Obispo Po the next morning or their first class freight all the way to San Francisco at 7 p.m. Somewhere near Camarillo, where Charlie Parker had been mad and relaxed back to normal health, a thin old little bum climbed into my gondola as, it, as we headed into a to give a train right away and looked surprised to see me there. 
He established himself at the other end of the gondola and lay down, facing me with his head on his own miserably small pack and said nothing. By and by they blew the highball whistle after the eastbound freight had smashed through on the main line and we pulled out as the air got colder and fog began to blow from the sea over the warm valleys of the coast. Both the little bum and I, after unsuccessful attempts to huddle on the cold steel and wraparounds, got up and paced back and forth and jumped and flapped each other's or end of the gong. Pretty soon we headed into another siding at a small railroad town and I figured I needed a little Power boy of Tokay wine to complete the cold dusk run to Santa Barbara. Will you watch my pack while I run over there and get a bottle of wine? <laughs> this is a little hard to read out loud because he has like these long, they almost seem like run on sentences, but they're long. He goes through a long descriptions on some of his stuff. And that's Jack Kerouac, the Dharma Bomb. It's just part of it, if you can understand my ramble ramble. But anyway, uh, I do have a couple of packages. I have I have the records now to send out to our uh, Mr. LJ over there. I'll be getting that ready soon. Um, but what I wanted to talk about just a little bit at the end here is some stuff going on again. Um, um, how do I say this? You all, some of you all know my mom has been sick off and on. We are going through cancer treatment for the last year she was anyway. Well, here recently she's gotten worse again because within the last two weeks they have found another tumor, tumorous cancer growth in her stomach. And they said it's inoperable. Um, they want to put her through another round of chemo, but we're not too sure she's her she's already so weak and everything that she might not be able to handle it because at the moment she is in the hospital again. I just came from there. I took her there today because we were going to get some. Uh, she's going to get some fluids because she's very dehydrated, but she has not been eating for the last two weeks. Um, like uh, the other day, all she said she had to eat was a piece of butterscotch candy, a hard rock candy. And eating like that, she's in a very weakened state. And it's because of the tumor that's in her stomach. Um, it's, she hasn't been able to eat or drink. So we, they're keeping her tonight and for who knows, at least a couple days as my guess. But I just wanted to let you all know that, um, just for those of you who want to know. <laughs> Anyways, and I will be back with some more typewriter videos. And maybe I was thinking about doing another one tonight, but I might wait till tomorrow because I have uh, some more typewriters to show you and uh, some stories surrounding one of them. I might just do one video about one because I have some stuff to talk about it on it if you can put up with my typewriter videos and that's it Colin over and out and weirdos unite